It's video game time, something which I have to spend absolutely hours doing just to get ready. But it's okay, because I absolutely love video games. Question is, what am I taking a look at? Is it a PS3 game? Is it an Xbox 360 game? Is it an Xbox One? Or is it a PlayStation 4 game? So many consoles, but only one game can be reviewed. So let's find out. The things I've done. A better person would feel bad. Me? Got no apologies. What we have here is one of the launch titles for both the PS4 and the Xbox One. Now, I'm reviewing this one today on the Xbox, as you can see on the case, for a couple of reasons. One, if you remember a few weeks back, I took a look at one of the key racing games out there across all consoles, which is the Forza series, but I looked at the Xbox One latest version. So I thought as a follow-up, I would do another racing game. Need for Speed, I'm sure you've heard of. It's uh, pretty much a mainstay in terms of franchises that we see in the console series. And I have to say, this one is rather exciting. And it fits into the year 2014 because, let's see, in a few months' time, they've got a Need for Speed movie coming out as well, starring one of the guys from Breaking Bad, amongst other things. You can check out the trailer online. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of interest in the game again once the movie comes out because I'm actually looking forward to the movie. It looks rather fun. How does this one stack up against what we've previously seen in the Need for Speed series? Is it a return to form for them? Is it exciting? Is it one of the key titles that you have to have for your PlayStation 4? Bearing in mind there's not too many games out there or also the Xbox One. Same story, not too many games out there and putting this in direct battle with Forza. Excuses. The regrets. This game is absolutely stunning, and I'll talk more about the graphics later, but just about the actual environment first of all. If you liked Hot Pursuit, if you liked Most Wanted, this is an amalgamation of those two into one game. We have that very open world concept, but at the same time, there's a whole cops and robbers, well, at a very basic level concept that we've seen in Hot Pursuit as well. So during the game itself, it's very easy to switch between being the good guy or the bad guy, a cop or one of the racers. And I have to say, I have more fun playing with the racers because there's all sorts of fun things you can do and all sorts of add-ons you can throw in and of course weapons and most importantly, nitrous oxide. But take nothing away, some people will probably be more drawn to being a cop, some people will be more drawn to being a racer. I think that's more of an individual preference, but it's a nice choice to have, and it really just brings back memories of playing previous Need for Speed games. Now, it's set in a fictional location in a county, Redview County, and it's a, well, it's rather large. You'll get every environment there. You'll be going through a forest, you'll be going through some open areas, you've got the sea next to you sometimes, and the game itself, it's all within there, and you can go from one place to another, but sometimes you'll realize that it seems big, but you're going so fast and some stretches of road go on for miles that you can easily breeze through a large section of Redview County very, very fast indeed. No remorse. What about some of the other features which make the gameplay a lot of fun? Well, the biggest one, the most touted one, the one which, if you've read anything about the game, you must have heard of, would be All Drive. Now, this effectively, seamlessly incorporates single and multiplayer into one single world, effectively. So, it's never gonna stop. You're always on the move for something. There's no pause menu here. You just keep on going non-stop until you actually switch off your console or you check into a garage. Maybe you try to get another car or maybe you're just fixing your car. That's it. The rest of the time it's go, 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 go. And you don't ever get a chance to really catch your breath. Saying that though, it's a lot of fun. You could be racing along. If you have friends online, suddenly you'll see them racing, going to the other side of you. Perhaps you're about to come to the conclusion of a race and something out of the blue smashes into you. It could be your friend's car. It could be anything. Now that's a lot of fun. That's the fun aspect of all drive. You could be teaming up with other cops and taking down 
other races. Or it could go the other way around as you're helping other races by taking out the cops just like that. So obviously, all drive, huge, huge facet of the game is what really drives it in my opinion because after you go through a very brief tutorial, one as a racer, one as a cop, then you're straight into that world, this all drive world where everything is bang, 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 boom. I mean, you get access to the entire county, which I talked about earlier on, straight away once your tutorial is done, which I kid you not, will just take you a few minutes for each side, you're good to go. That's how much fun it is. But the question is, can you stand the pace, which is just non-stop? Oh well. There are other challenges that you can achieve as well. That's the speed wall. There's all sorts of jargon being thrown in by the developers for this, for their own little world. And it's okay, it's not too bad. I mean, speed wall is basically you get these challenges which you have to unlock. For example, the most basic one would be run down your nitrous oxide fuel tank. Very basic, just hold down A and you're good, that's it. But obviously as the game progresses, it'll get more and more complex and more and more fun. But depends if you like these challenges or not, if they are for you. If they're not, we'll just enjoy the all drive world and face off against other people around the world. Face off against your friends or play the story mode, lest we forget, yes there is one. Again, that one is also more basic, it's not particularly narrative driven, it's just all these things you have to achieve really. So what do I think about the game in conclusion? It's a lot of fun. It's a very, very big contrast to Forza. That's on the Xbox only, obviously, but Need for Speed is also for the PS4. And, well, it's fun. It's just fun full stop. I mean, it is relentless. That's why it's a good contrast to Forza, because of that. They're both racing games, but they are apples and oranges in terms of how you play the nitrous oxide, fusing weapons, playing as a cop, playing as a racer generally just very very different so for me it's definitely worth checking out sometimes it can feel a little bit small in scope I mean you're chucked straight into the entire world straight away for one and I talked about the all drive but you only find around seven or eight players within your world at a given time and obviously once you bump into them the results can be absolutely spectacular a lot of fun team up race against them whatever it may be if you're playing as a cop in your world well, there's all sorts of fun challenges and it can be very satisfying taking down a racer or there's a special mode where you can take down multiple racers who are all in one race and you're the cop just stopping all of them one by one systematically. Imagine you're something like Batman. However, again, I have more fun as a racer than a cop, but the game itself allows you to switch between both just like that. Very, very simple. So obviously, a nice bit of variety there. They didn't constrict you. You can do pretty much anything you want in this world. Go for the speed wall challenges, which is basically your story mode. Go and play as this or that. It, graphically, Frostbite engine really makes this look beautiful um, at night, in the day, depending on whatever the conditions are. It does look stunning, but like I touched on earlier, you're gonna be going so fast at points in time, you're not even gonna realize how beautiful the scenery is. Unlike Forza, where you get some time to really appreciate. I know it's a racing game, it doesn't sound like it makes sense, but you do feel you can appreciate the background of Forza a lot more than Need for Speed Rivals. As a launch title game, definitely worth checking out. One of the stronger titles in my opinion. If you're a racer game fan, do check it out. If you prefer something more realistic, maybe Forza's for you. But right now, don't really see anything else on the PlayStation 4. Obviously, Gran Turismo, the latest one, came out on the PS3. So this is definitely worth checking out for now, at least. I've made my choices. Now you make yours. And our episode of Gadget Nation comes to an end, but have no worries, because we'll be back same time, same place next week. Why? Because we need about a week to prepare all of our gadgets and stuff, you know, and video games. Got to play it around with it before we can actually talk about it. All right, find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and more. Absolutely love to hear from you, maybe about something you've seen on the show, about something you want to see on the show, or any other questions that you might have. We would absolutely value your feedback. My name is Adam Carruthers. Till next time.